What's up? It's Cape Sipes Custom Audio Reimagine, and this video is going to be showing a 2008 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is actually my daughter's vehicle. For Christmas, I gave her a full audio system, and now it's time to install it. Yesterday I built the sub box and today we're going to blow apart the interior, put in dash speakers, door speakers in the front, the rear, a 1000 watt monoblock amp under the driver's seat, a four channel amp under the passenger seat, and then two eight inch subs in the sub box. Pretty light day. So the top of the box I went ahead and did the Jeep logo and this has been sprayed with an undercoating so kind of a rugged deal rather than doing a wrap and doing a press on it. The back of the sub box, I went ahead and coated the whole inside of the box with undercoating. And the sub will hold, or the sub box here will hold two eight inch cadence subwoofers and there's a four inch port in the middle. So everything here seems to be pretty well good to go. Underneath, we've got an opening or a little gap with those legs on each side. And that's so she can still pull out the bottom of her floor for the cargo area. Uh, the rings for the subs have also been sprayed to match the Jeep. Back of the Jeep here, and this is so she can pull this out is why there's a gap. When you uh, release the pins there, that'll lift up. Gives you a little bit of more storage space underneath, but not much. I've already done a Pioneer radio in here a while back. The Jeep's really not in bad shape at all. I bought this for her, I think a couple years ago. But my son's Trailblazer has a full system in it. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever posted it up, but uh, it's got full, full Dungeons and Dragons style system. It's got dragons, it's got all kinds of crazy stuff. So now that the parts were left in the main shop overnight to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and move these out of the way. We're gonna move the Jeep into the center of the shop here so I can start removing the front seats. I gotta get them taken out, get the uh, carpet lifted up, get the dash off, get the radio out, and start getting everything prepped and ready for all the wiring to be dropped and rain in this thing. didn't get to finish is the lights back at the sub box um, my fingers I jacked them up and they're all cut up and the wiring is so small I just can't do it with my fingers like this so I'm gonna have to do that soldering another day but it came out pretty badass so she got a pioneer deck I went ahead and put a USB port right there for her Android Auto and Apple CarPlay there's her base knob I put new three and a halfs up in the dash, new six by nines in the doors. The rears are still the stock ones because they don't really matter. Um, I have a pair of speakers to put back there, but I didn't really see a reason to because the way I have it staged out, it's not really needed. Um, but if she wants them, I'll put them in there. Then I built that sub box. I got two ten or eight inch. These are actually eight inch cadence subs four inch port, the box is 2.122 cubic feet. It's tuned to 43 Hertz. Then I did the Jeep up there on the top, all spiffy. And the amps are down here. They are below the floor, which they are the genius amplifiers that were in my wife's Prius. They did great in there. So I went ahead and reused them in here. Oh, and I put a backup camera, just got backup camera, and I did interior lights. So she's got, you know, lighting in here. Um, I don't like the lights though, because the transformer causes noise in the system. So it's got lights, you can make them change colors, do all kinds of whatever she wants to do. See, I can't even push the buttons. My fingers hurt so bad, but I don't like the little buzz from the transformer. I hate that, so I'm gonna shut those off. And then, uh, and that's it. 
she's gonna take it tonight so I'll never see it again to be able to do a video so I just figured I'd make this quick video because people would ask what I did in it so that's it I'll add some lighting back there take it easy